Seeing the the psychic child ditto, I'm actually kind of disappointed. Gleb bring out the. But I am I'm simultaneously disappointed and excited because I just love ZSS. Yeah, no, no, ZSS is actually a really fun character. Uh, honestly, I feel like this character could be like the best timeout character, but like no ZSS does it. <laughs> uh, have you ever heard of King Chris? Oh, uh, I mean, there is King Chris, but like you know, I I don't think I've actually seen King Chris time somebody out yet. You've you've never seen? Oh wait, you're I, uh, you are I, seen Wi-Fi. King Chris, like, back when the number one, like, a little bit of Wi-Fi history for you, ladies and gents. Uh, back when, like, the number one and the number two on Wi-Fi were King Chris and Dusty Carpet, every single Wi-Fi 20 grand was between those two, and Chris just timed Dusty out every time. It Let's was, go. It was, it was kind of <laughs> awful, I'll be real with you. So, uh, so yeah. Anyway, let's get into this game, huh? We got some let's good gameplay going game. on. TM4 has just coming off a big win on PK Chris. It was a hard-fought battle. And now he's got a big challenge in front of him on the WebJP. WebJP also coming off a big win off of Zen. And uh, that was a Lucas. I thought we were going to get a little bit of the PSI kids, uh, you know, battle here going on. But ZSS coming out uh, looking pretty good right now. 94% so far on this first stock, but getting a little bit of extra credit. Let's see if they can get a little bit more. Yeah, no, the ZSS not just looking good, looking fantastic. Using flip kick right there into side B to make it back to stage safely. And already building up some more 29% extra credit with a character. A lot of people don't expect it. But especially with like some of the uh, options into up B, ZSS has some serious kill potential. It's like 29%, not a lot, but it's something. And any extra credit is good extra credit. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. And, uh, I mean, we'll just have to see what WebGP can do with that extra credit. Because, like, if this is a little bit, and then, like, TM4 turns it on, then, yeah, maybe there's a problem there. But, like, uh, right now, WebJP's still solidly in the lead. tm is still fighting. But, oh, boy. Wow, I thought we were going to get a, uh, a bit more out of that. I mean, still getting a down air into a Zare is pretty cool. Ooh, wow, what? I thought, how did he not get the grab? Good, good spot dodge from TM4 there, too. Grab and get back into this. And just like that, like, one more hit, and this is an even game. And, oh no, he overshot it. He was looking for the rollback from WebJP and just didn't happen. Okay, yep, and we're gonna get TM4 back to the stage here. Oh, making it back with that PK Thunder and WebJP. A little, little bit of a perfect pivot, uh, perfect pivot show on the ledge while TM4. That side beat going to connect right into the child's face though and send him off stage. WebJP is doing a really, really good job of her stage. Let's see where it goes from here. I mean, the percentages are actually kind of fairly even right now, especially the way that Nesca both oh, stocks up, yeah. like right there, the PK Thunder to the forward air and closing out the up smash. We saw WebJP with the lead and now TM4 just taking it away. Good extra credit so far, 30%. Let's see what they got next. Okay, I think they got a little bit of the PK Thunder there, right? A little bit of the damage? Yeah. Ooh, that side B was close though. All right, let's see what the option is. Ooh, looking oh, I thought for sure that was going to be a down smack. No, WebJP not going. He needs to take this stock very, very soon before TM4 any more extra credit online. Looking for the up air by the blast zone, but it's still not going to connect. Well, I think what WebJP is kind of looking for here, I think he just kind of wants a bait and punish uh, type deal. That's why maybe we didn't see him run up to do the down smash. Like, if you're on your final stock, you don't want to deal with Ness, especially when Ness is a little bit of rage. You don't want to deal with, like, a bad scenario where, like, Ness all of a sudden gets you off stage and just, just blows up your stock. So I think WebJP just kind of wants to take this final stock a little bit slower, which is totally... Totally within ZSS's toolkit, and she thrives in that type of gameplay anyway. Like, yeah, she is an absolute aggro monster, like, especially when you watch, like, Mars Player. But, like, uh, at the same time, take your time with the character. you got all the tools to do so. That's a lot of down airs we've been yeah, seeing. Wow. Jeez. Web's been, doing, <laughs> Web's been doing it a lot, and it's not been working out too shabbily. Nair from TM4 going to get uh, Web off of him, but Web could get something started here. Like, I, I don't think this game is anywhere close to over. They've both got a spot left to play. Uh, with the F-Tilt looking for the Nair coming in, and no connection on the back there. That could have been huge. Okay, let's see what it is. Yeah, WebJP definitely doing a good job here, but 102%. You know a back air here could probably just blow up the stock, especially when they get towards the ledge. So uh, WebJP's got to be pretty careful. Great stuff so far, though. Continuing to put on this pressure on the TM4. Oh, that could have been a bad spot right there. A back throw maybe could have done it, but TM4 just a little too slow on the stick. Zare coming in, and WebJP actually, like, this is even. 
it, it mm -hmm. was looking Ooh. bad for Webb for a hot minute, and then he's just brought it all the way back from the depths of the screen. Woo! Yeah, see, wow. you can tell, you can tell. This is scary. Oh, oh and the yo-yo taking yeah. another victim on the day. You could tell TM4 was a bit nervous there because they just ran into WebJP's shield for like a like a half second and just didn't do anything. Like they just they just weren't sure what they wanted. Uh, but fortunately for TM4, able to close out that game anyway. And WebJP was was doing a great job bringing it back, playing that slow tempo game. You know. Uh, just taking their time, building up that damage slowly. Like, you've got the movement, so to keep using it. But, I mean, they just ended up getting caught in that up smash. Unfortunately, TM4 going to take the game, uh, the first game here. This should be best of five, right? Yeah, it's top eight. Yeah, it is. We're in it. We're in top eight. Let's go. So, anyway, hopefully they go into that, uh, that second game with a little bit of ego. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm, I'm just trying to think like what Webb needs to do differently because overall it was a very solid performance. It was just that like one um, or two mistakes on landing, like especially off of those down airs that was oh, punished by TM4. I don't think bringing out the Lucas is a bad idea, but I think it was just a matter of, um, I don't think they were playing, they weren't playing bad. I think they just kind of needed a game to kind of get the ZSS warmed up. Um, I would have liked to see the ZSS stay in play, but maybe they're just more comfortable with Lucas in this matchup. Let's see. A little bit of damage already off the bat. 35%. That's nothing to sneeze at, especially from one single conversion. That's just the, the danger that is next. Mm -hmm. Ooh, big opening right there. Getting that jump cancel Nair uh, out of the magnet. 54% uh, so far. Yeah, these two definitely kind of dancing around each other a little bit. Getting these PK fires uh, firing off. <laughs> TM4 is playing so well, but Webb starting to make a little bit of a, a little bit of progress in here. 64%, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're within five percent of each other. Webb get, uh, getting his inroads started that he absolutely needs to get back mm. into the set. Oh, wow. TM4 almost had something fantastic there, but it was just not quite enough to get through the wall. Yeah, these trades that these guys have going on is insane. There's a couple times now. Uh, oh, wow, what a great downer. Going to be able to get that spike and take that first stock. But there's a couple times WebJP was getting caught up in the PK fire. And uh, both times, uh, TM4 went to go jump in, you know, try to get some extra damage. And WebJP was able to get out and actually land a four there and just kind of create a bunch of space for himself. So that's just some good stuff. And that all kind of led into that stock there as well. So, I mean, we're going to see if uh, TM4 can try to find that momentum that they had uh, coming out of that game one. But right now, man, WebJP... He's looking good despite losing that stock 52%. That kind of goes a long way in this matchup. Oh, uh, but 52%'s a lot, so is 25 off of just one PK fire time and time again. And it's just gonna keep happening. Webb, though, actually getting a little bit of health back from that one. Yep. Okay, let's see where we go from here. Yeah, WebJP getting these PK fires going. And that's the thing, man. I feel like PK fire, not only is it like a good projectile anyway, but I feel like it's a much like stronger projectile. Oh, yeah. Uh, I feel that's like they probably could have gotten a big thunder too. Yeah, Kravik could have gotten a bigger punish maybe, but either way, get in the stock, so it doesn't really matter. WebJP played that second stock phenomenally. Only 19%. That's insane. Right now, the drag down fair going to be. That's that's just such a, a good move. Like imagine if Luke hit had Ness's aerials. Uh Lucas's aerials are still pretty good. Um they're they're, they're very different kids. I think they, yeah, they yeah, both yeah. work for the character that they're on. Um, like you do you like, do have to kinda handle his aerials a bit differently. Like I, I that that's pretty obvious. But um for the most part, like uh I don't know, I feel like it's like Ness it has a more bursty aggro and like with uh I feel like with Lucas you kinda have to have a, a few more setups when using the aerials, you know? Yeah, no, I definitely agree. And, like, WebJ with the character is definitely he goes Ooh. for a lot more of these Nair drag down startups. But what a back throw from TM4 there. Okay, there we go. Down throw. Remember when that used to just absolutely bury? <laughs> Can you imagine if Lucas still had the bury mechanic for his down throw? That would be nuts. Because um, <laughs> it, it's, it's a fake bury. Like, a lot of people don't know. Not really, a, you can't mash out of it. There's no like, it's it's literally like a set time and then it pops you out based on your percent. It's no, it's all a lie. All right. Uh, okay, getting these PK fires going. Ooh, so the thing is, TM4 was kind of ready for the PK fire that time around, but uh, yeah, no, he had just... the, the, the Psy Magnet out there to be able to absorb it, but it's oh, he it's could have something here, but yeah, this inroads is a little. 
Uh, a little bit too little Ooh. too late, I'd honestly say, because at this point he's one hit away from Webb taking game two. Mm -hmm. One fair, one bear, and Webb <laughs> absorbing the PK fire just as a little bit of insult to injury as well, and the up oh. tilt going to take care of it. That is going to be the ending of game two, and like that, we're tied up one in this best of five set. Yeah. So I mean. As much as I probably would have liked to see the uh, WebJP stick with the CSS, because I think they could have made it work, it seems like they're definitely much more comfortable with the Lucas play. Because, um, like, I feel like Lucas and Ness kind of, like, they can uh, kind of nullify each other out in a few spots. But, um, I don't know, just the way WebJP just plays, it, it just gets right into the face of uh, of Ness. Like, it's when it matters. Like, you kind of just wait for Ness to do Ness things, right? And then just counterplay. Just, like, counterpunch it over and over again. And WebJP did a fantastic job from start to finish there. Put down a lot of good damage. Got those stocks that matter. Didn't let anything go too far. Um, so, I mean, I got nothing else to really add to that, man. WebJP just played that second yeah, game that wonderfully. Just... Um, and we questioned it a little bit at the start. We questioned, like, oh, why would you put away the ZS? The ZSS did so very well in that game one. It just wasn't able to close it out. But I definitely do agree with WebJP's own assessment of it that the, the, the Lucas in this situation was the right call. I think that his Lucas is just very, very good, especially at punishing characters like TM4's Nest. He's doing so very good at getting these small strings that do a lot of damage, especially in those situations like off of those grabs. He is a very, very good punish player. And that is mm -hmm. what you need to do against Ness. Yeah. And, I, and that's the thing is like it kind of helps when you have um when you have your own magnet too so that kind of deals with a lot of the uh a lot of the problems that a lot of characters face with ness in general so i mean really just web tp just has the tools to kind of not only not only like they, they have the gameplay style to kind of deal with Ness, but they have the tools to deal with Ness even better so tm4 has definitely got a lot in their plate here we're gonna see if he can kind of find an opening and kind of like exploit some of WebJP's weaknesses but man webjp has been doing a fantastic job with this lucas all night yeah, the the uh, the victory over um, the victories in pools in top 128 definitely skill as a player, just a, a overall fantastic uh, fantastic competitor, and he's showing it here in this top eight of MSM. Mm -hmm. Already off the bat though, TM4 great start, 59% 64, and continuously building. This is much much better than uh, than game two began because I know 75% it's not a lot. It doesn't seem like a lot because it isn't. But it's much, much better than how Game 2 started. Game 2 was almost entirely WebJP for the first stop. So just the fact that TM4 has opened this up with a lead and a lot of percent, that's fantastic adaptation on his part. I mean, yeah, sometimes it's just what it comes down to. Like, especially when you kind of look at the play styles and the difference between ZSS and Lucas anyway. Uh, it might just take a game to kind of really get, you know, the adaptation, like you mentioned, uh, going. So, I mean, right now, it looks like, like you said, TM4 has got the percentage lead right here. A uh, little late in that up smash. Uh, WebJP going to be able to get a little bit of a punish out of it. Ooh, but get a little bit of percentage with the magnet there. And right back off stage, man. This is this is such a problem. Oh, that could have been bad. But no, TM4 going to land on stage, get the back throw to take off that first stock. But yeah. I mean, like you said, adaptation. Looks like the adaptation's there. Sometimes you just need a game to get it going. That uh, this kill option could be coming online very Ooh. for a second that that down smash would have two frames, but not quite. The legend invincibility saved TM4's life there. I think he uh, he just wasn't close enough to the ledge. I think he probably did it a little too early. Uh, yeah, no, I think it I think it was. Missed setup on WebJP's part, but it's just kind of lucky. Uh, it's not too often you oh. get a big break, and oh my goodness, did PK Fire almost kill there? Woo! Oh, what? <laughs> he just <laughs> involved the PK Thunder. Oh, what a way to give. That's not something you see every day, but holy crap, was it beautiful. What yeah. a setup from WebJP, and what a kill. Yeah, no, Web actually uh, basically kind of limited uh, the extra credit that TM4 had to like 1.4%, so basically nothing at that point. Yeah, yeah but that was just... it right back, like, yep. you got some extra credit? No, I got some extra credit. Yeah, no, Web, Web doing a fantastic job of uh, with some counterplay there, getting that stock right back. Uh, so I wonder if we're going to see maybe a TM4 kind of like sees that and goes, oh, okay, I, I see that's how we're playing. I'm going to get one of those two. Whoa, that was a big <laughs> board Also match. online for TM4. He can do it himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe we'll see a little bit of a counterplay here uh, once they kind of get each other, you know, off stage quite a bit. Opting for the air dodge there. I mean, that's probably smart anyway. You're right next to the ledge. Ooh, okay. wait, Ooh. that's something that I didn't consider. Web has something big that TM4 does not when it comes to off stage, and that's the tether. So mm -hmm. yeah, 
TM4 has the option of running off and using uh, Psy Magnet to absorb Webb's PK Thunder to prevent him from recovering. Sure. Ooh, wow. PK Thunder is a secondary recovery option when it comes to Lucas. Most of the time, if Lucas is at all capable of doing so, he will go for the, uh, for the, excuse me, the, the tether recovery Ooh. back to stage. Yo, great use of the PK Freeze to get Ness off the ledge just so WebJP could breathe a little bit. And now, okay, I thought maybe we we're going to see PK Thunder 2 onto the stage. Ooh, Magnet sending him way off. Wow. Oh, very unfortunate. Get back. That's, hey, you, you know, know what? That's, that's, just, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I mean, you, you went for a crazy uh, ledge guard option, and you're at 161, so it's not like you lost too much. You probably could have got a little more out of the stock in general, but as long as you don't take too much extra credit here, I don't think it's too big of a deal. Whoa! Right there. <laughs> speaking of not too big of a deal, yeah, they're good. We're back full reset. 0-0 zero, zero on both players. Three minutes remaining. I don't think we're going to see a timeout there, but they do have to keep the clock just in the back of their minds. Yeah, no, I don't think we're going to see a timeout. I like, I, like it, it could come down to it, but, like, I think these two are just totally content with just beating the hell out of each other. None of them, like, really care about running away, you know? Um, but we'll see how that plays out. Right now, man, TM4's got a little bit of a lead here. Just a little bit. Nothing to, uh, nothing to write home about. But, I mean, uh oh this could be bad. Okay, never mind, never mind. Gonna be able to get back to ledge without too much hassle. But now, Ness off stage. Oh, that's huge! Oh no! Uh -oh. He's got cut right oh, 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 oh my goodness! What a way to end! Oh man, dude, Web, Web, that was grimy. <laughs> that was that. That was. I want a written apology. <laughs> on my desk, WebJP, what was that? Listen, as soon as he landed that PK fire off stage, that was just a really, really tough spot for TM4. He didn't really have many options to kind of go with to get back to the stage there and just, just had the hope something would work or maybe WebJP would like misplay something. But man, Web was on top of it. And man, what a way to end that game three uh we thought the adaptation was there and i mean tm4 did do a lot better but web coming through with a couple of uh a couple of gimps <laughs> I mean, that just felt like web web held out his hand just walked up to him and said your recovery give me <laughs> hand it over hand over your recovery privileges right now you have lost your and that sucks dude ness's recovery uh reco well, ness actually has a much better recovery in, in ultimate than he has in past games lucas like that air dodge is even better though like yeah lucas is his longer range yeah but like uh like ness like his air dodge is like a third jump <laughs> we're going i guess to we're going FD to fd uh counter pick from tm4 especially considering how comfortable he looked on ps2 yeah uh, i definitely think the lack of platforms as we're seeing here benefits lucas a lot more than it benefits Ness. it does 71 percent off the bat TS4, I, what were you thinking i've seen web go to final destination quite a few times and today? i feel like yeah oh, no, no not, not even just today like i've seen a lot of web jp clips that happen on this stage i just feel like that's something like at some point like yeah maybe your character does well here but sometimes you gotta take a you gotta take a look at who's on the other side of that uh, on that screen you know um and for instance in this case it's web jp you gotta know a little bit that web likes this stage <laughs> like, like even if even if you're not doing your research on your opponent like just watch the stream. Ooh, ooh. Wait, that killed that yes. was sus ass di Nah, uh, ness's four tilt's also pretty strong it was pretty strong but he shouldn't have died at 80. well that i think he had i think he had a pk fire into the forward tilt right yeah he was so you're, at 80 yeah. when the forward tilt hit that was yeah sus but, but you're, you're already kind of holding oh, out wait, at that point wait yeah he was holding yeah. out to escape the pk fire okay i see yeah there you go I big see. brain <laughs> you're so smart <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> yeah, I know you do, but hey, okay, we're gonna get right back into this though. PK fires being traded back and forth here. All right, let's see if Webb can get another. Uh, ooh, never mind. TM4 gonna put him off stage. Oh wow, what a beautiful tech! That was insane. Woo! Whoa, baby. These, these guys are beating the hell out of each other. Oh, what, <laughs> what was that? Oh my God! Web JP, the monster Lucas player, making this look absolutely, like he's making this look like he did it's been his set the whole time. The scoreboard is an illusion and we're all liars. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely waking up here. Uh, we we kind of mentioned earlier, FD is a very good stage, I think, for Lucas. And I mean, again, uh, Web, Web's, Web's built different. <laughs> they, they do well on this stage. 
But uh, yeah, no, that was a really good down angled forward tilt. Gonna be able to close out that stock. And at 138, there, that's again. quite a bit. Uh, Is he going? Ooh. Oh! That air dodge could have been disaster for TM4 because, yeah, sure, it gets you past getting down tilted or down smashed at ledge. But mm. what if he just turns around and F smashes you? Oh, no! That's how it ends. Not with a bang, but with the sizzle of a PK fire. That is going to be a 3 1 victory for EDM's very own JP. I would say that, like, Ness's PK fire sizzles and, and like, Lucas' PK fire probably bangs.